new on FL Studio Mobile? You clicked on the right video. Welcome to Shadow Music Studio. In this video you will get to familiarize yourself on how to use FL Studio Mobile. Here is what we will go through in this video. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe for more music producing videos. Please subscribe, please, I am begging you. This is what you will see when you start FL Studio Mobile. At the top right you can see the menu button. Here you can change the settings as well as create a new track to create your awesome music creations. To create an empty track, simply click on empty. Choose your BPM as well as time signature to create your track. This is quite an empty track. To add an instrument just click the big plus button. Select the plugin you want and add an instrument, as simple as that. Now you are looking at the piano roll. Here is where you are able to select the different notes to create chords and music. Hold on for a second while I create my masterpiece. Shush, listen. Truly beautiful. What are those bars you ask? Oh, those are the music notes that I have selected. The length of the bars determines how long the notes are being played. Simply adjust the length using the points at the side of the bars. You can select multiple notes by pressing and holding to select notes to be deleted or duplicated. This is the preview button. Use it to listen to one specific instrument on your track. Oh what is that? Oh it is a magnet. What does it do? This magnet tool will enable notes or instrument part to stick to the bar lines or grids. When it is not selected, you can move notes freely. To add filters, reverbs and automation to your instruments, simply swipe the tab on the right of the screen, click on the plus and choose the effects you want to add to your instrument. To add automation clips, such as filter automation, firstly select filter and click on the filter knob to adjust. Then click on the three dots menu on the play bar and select add automation. So simple. Here is a sample of when to use automation clips. This is a music I am currently working on, see how the filter automation clip is used. Automation clips also works for reverbs and levelers. I will leave it to you guys to explore more on FL Studio Mobile and play around with your creations. Comment down below what I missed and what video I should do next, till next time.